Hello everyone and welcome back to Life Station and Base Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. We have sort of demonstrated the viability of the Mark II space plane even though we had two of them stuck to each other and had to scrape one off. Uh, that particular version of the It's a Base seems to workish. Of course we haven't docked two of them together but I'd rather actually move on to bigger and better things than that this time and that means oh well we do have to line up with Jewel and make sure we have a transfer window but what I was really trying to do is go to the tech tree and see if we have enough Mark III parts to do a Mark III shuttle that will plop the base down and return. The original idea that I had for this series uh, that didn't quite work out because we only had the smaller parts, but now we have some of the Mark III parts and I'm looking to make that happen. So that's the plan this time. So here in the tech tree, what we have is space planes and space shuttles, but we don't have the Mark III fuel systems parts. And I don't think we need the XL construction trusses or coupling. Or anything. It's really just a fuel system parts that I wish we had, but we don't because we don't have 3,600 more science. So, yeah, that, that'll be the next thing that we want to unlock, and maybe we'll figure out a way to get the science. Payloads. I guess we'll start with the payload bay here. And we'll need it upside down, right? So it can plop things. It's still fairly limiting. I don't think I need an adapter on that. There's little bits hanging out. I don't think that's so critical that I need an adapter for it. Now that's 10 tons in the back, and the cockpit is only 5 tons in the front. Might as well toss on a reaction wheel. Or maybe just a controller would be good. Or both. We sort of want our base module to still be a rover though. I think I need to think about making it separately. So... I don't want to call it Leaf Shuttle again. Base Planter. We need a base that's sort of a roverish thing. But all of these pods are circular. It used to be that this one, they had made a version of it that was more rover shaped, but that that was in KSP-1. More Mark II base modules? Let's see, what about that little plane? The car shark. If we didn't need it to have wings or anything, maybe we can see whether one of these can dock to another one. And... Since we don't have to take off, we just need the jets to, like, help propel us. Push us along the ground, so we'll just have those two. And we don't need these anymore. Well, maybe we want them to help propel us too. Yeah, well, let's just keep them on. Eek. Oh. No, where's the rest of it? What happened? Merge did not work. Let's start with the ploppable. Oh, it just... it doesn't... yeah, okay, fine. It's just like that. Let me load the old car shark. Okay, you. Okay, now you. Right. Obviously, we'll need more cargo bay. Well, I feel like we can remove the methane tanks on this. Make it shorter will be... Slightly better. Okay, well we've we've changed this up a little bit. Maybe I should test it outside first. Well, seems fine to me. All right. Okay, so hopefully I can merge this with the shuttle thing. Probably need more cargo room, but let's figure this out first. I just need this on that docking port over there. Okay. Well, it doesn't quite fit, does it? Gosh darn it. 
Okay, maybe we'll lose the jet engine option. We're using the main landing gear as another option for if the wheels aren't working. No, we don't have any way to propel ourselves now. But maybe we can just get unstuck or something. Then we'll get another segment and we'll have to see whether we can drop it. Probably need some RCS on here as well. But let's just see if we can get that out first. But we need the wing on because without the wing we can't put the main landing gear because of the doors. Don't know how overboard we need to go with the wings. We do... Uh, it's funny, uh, uh, note that they... This is, this is weird. The way it actually shows the old style stabilizer over there, but also over there shows... A uh, rectangular version of this one. What is even going on here? <laughs> the reason I'm using a V-tail here, by the way, is because if we want to dock to the station... I don't want a vertical tail and horizontal stabilizers because the vertical tail is more likely to get in the way of other things. Um, the V-tail will make it a little bit easier to avoid that. And here we have to make sure that the wing can get the landing gear to a position where it's behind the center of mass. So that's pretty important. Which means we want more sweep to it than what we've got now. Uh, I really don't want the really heavy landing gear, but I guess it's not too much heavier than what we've got. Somehow we need to plop that and have that clear the cargo bay. Okay... Somebody inside. Now let's see what happens. Undock. That is less dramatic than I was expecting, so that's good. Okay, in theory it can get out of there. And for some reason this didn't have any other problems. Maybe I should take off the landing gear. We don't have any other method of propulsion either. Seems pretty nice overall. But will it be nice on lathe? I don't know. But, okay. We'll, we'll assume that that can work. Okay, but this still needs jet engines. And to counterbalance the stuff in the back, we probably want those in the front. I don't know if we need all this stuff in the front. I'm gonna think that we can get rid of the reaction wheel, but maybe I'll regret that. Maybe I'll have them high mounted. High mounted jet engines. Because otherwise the wing will potentially block them. Sometimes that has an effect, sometimes it doesn't. Let me just say without any fuel at all, how is it? We need enough fuel in the body in order for it to get back into orbit around Leaf, though. I'm not too sure this is enough. Maybe we should have double length hydrogen tanks. I don't know, I'd like a one and a half version. Something between that and that, personally. 2600. Well, if we had all of that, we could probably make orbit around Leaf, maybe, but that's tough. Okay, surgery time. Yeah, we'll try and put the bigger tanks on. It's getting a bit longish though. Hmm. The problem with a long fuselage like this is I feel like it's gonna have a harder time landing safely on lathe. I don't like that length in the back in particular. Could we... so that's 4.5, these are only 0.7. See, now that's a big difference. I'm thinking of putting a shorter one, but also maybe some ones with other form factors on. Like, 
have one of these on top. But then that'll get in the way of that docking port. Um, maybe two on the side like that? That's actually a little bit more than that. Okay, well... That's something. <laughs> that's something. Let's... Close that up. And let's see... I don't know, I don't like the wing. Okay, let's see what happens. Definite tail scraping possibility. The compression on the landing gear might be a little bit too much. Doesn't feel like enough power right now. But then again, when it lands on lathe, of course... Oh no, these will still be full. Um, hmm. Oh gosh. Uh, why did you go off to one side? Uh, it's not taking off very well. Okay, stop that. Okay, not enough power with these. That's a little bit nose heavy here. Now with four jet engines. More dry mass. Um, man, it's really compressing the rear landing gear though. <laughs> I mean, is there any way I could avoid that? We can't really tilt up very much. That could also be a problem when we get to leave. Uh, I'm not caring about y'all. Come on. Tilt up. Gosh. It doesn't have enough pitch control. Maybe we should have afterburners on and just have, we just have two. Uh oh, oh no, it's torching things, it's torching things. It's a bad idea to turn on the afterburners as it turns out. Uh, what, what part was actually torched? No, that's under flight report. It was the fuel tank, the hydrogen fuel tank. If this tank was what, this tank was the one that exploded. We'll just have to make sure that these are blowing behind that. Maybe that'll be best. And then uh, we'll action group. The toggle. Get off the ground, get off the ground. Steering this is hard. Oh boy. We gotta hit a building soon. No, not the VAB! Come on. Avoid! Okay, let's see if the afterburner torches things again. It's sort of going slower with Afterburner. <laughs> Come on, Afterburner. I don't I don't think Afterburner is doing a whole lot better than the regular mode. I'll try and point directly at Prograde to get to accelerate or something. Oh, that's not doing very well. We gotta switch back to regular mode. 
I swear cruise mode is actually better. I didn't see any positive thing from afterburner mode there. I don't understand why. Maybe the shot cone intakes weren't giving enough air. Let's see. It says more thrust. Yep, don't know what's going on there. I don't, I don't know if that's good enough for Lathe either. Well now we're going at a somewhat higher speed at the star, let's try Afterburner. seem to do a whole lot. Maybe if you just climb up. Not so much. This is a very peculiar thing. Regular mode? Regular cruise mode is just better. <laughs> uh, it doesn't make any sense. Those uh, rear control surfaces really don't seem to be actuating a whole lot. Okay, this is not good. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. No. No. Pull up. Weak. Oh. Oh. Okay. That wasn't any good. I think we should just not have pitch on these. Maybe the shotgun intakes aren't the best deal here, let's see. I mean, but they do say 100% efficiency all over the place. A little bit more area there, but I don't think it's the area that's the problem. Starts skidding at like 90-ish. The Panthers actually help with steering in theory. Let's try it again. Well, we're sort of going faster now, but not very much. Maybe I should turn down the thrust vectoring on these. That actually seems to reduce our speed. A lot of our pitch control right now is coming from the Panthers. Oh, Fizz Warp doesn't do anything good. <laughs> now it seems to be accelerating a little bit better. Nope, not anymore now. It's all dependent on how things are actuating and whether they're creating drag. Uh, I was gonna try and see if we could nuclear engine this to orbit, but I don't think so. Uh-oh. 
that's overheating for some reason. Probably the engine's hitting something or another. Don't bounce, don't bounce. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, oh, it took off the engine and it decided that that's the end of it. Okay, fine. Hmm. Anyway, we were just testing. Let me just re verify that we can get it out of there. Okay, well, something needs brakes on. Nope, other way. Oh, got stuck somehow. Uh, uh, not this way. Okay. So it can get out. The problem is whether the space plane can like survive at all. We need the front wheels a little bit taller, otherwise it's not gonna be the right height. So I'll have to extend these down a bit, I think. Anyway, we have this for now. Let's just pack it up and try and send it over there and see what happens. There's something weird about the way the jet engines are working right now, though. <laughs> 